Y'all, Pioneer Woman has hair brushes. I am actually a little bit shooketh. I had no idea she made anything other than like kitchen shit. Okay, spoke too soon. She also has bath poofs. Okay. I am so freaking happy that I found this. Oh my God. They're playing a lot of music here too. They just played the Beatles, but currently there's a commercial. I'm actually looking at, looking at the planners, but I kind of like made my own planner. It's like this website called Plum Paper where you can design your own planner. That's coming on its way because we need a 2023 planner. Okay, there's music, bye. Okay, you guys, it's time for Walmart haul. One pumpkin, two pumpkin. These are like the craft pumpkins. So we're gonna paint these, I think. One lettuce common that people start just not taking their medicine and that was me so I was like super honest about it and she was like you know what we're gonna start you at the lowest level again you're gonna do that for two weeks and then we're gonna raise it higher Lamictal's not one to mess with so that is my fault but yeah and I'm probably just gonna like look around Walmart it's been a hot minute my breathing is drastically better my pain's better my ankle's better I can finally like be me be free just a little bit I do have covid anxiety still but i just i don't know this whole lung thing because i really was expecting the worst um because cancer was thrown around a lot by professionals and i've had cancer before so it wouldn't be surprising if i had it again but thankfully i don't okay <laughs> let's put out good good energy but um i don't know just like the whole scare just made me realize like how short life really is and I know I should have thought that way when I was diagnosed with uterine cancer and stuff um but I kind of just why am I rambling <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me I just feel very rambly um I just had a moment where I cried a little bit like I don't know life is just short folks it truly is I don't know We'll talk about that some other time. We don't need to, we don't need to get into it, but I just feel like there's a lot I want to say. But let's not do that right now. Okay. My advice is life short. Go to Walmart. <laughs> All right. So we're at five below and I dropped my camera. So hopefully uh, we're good still. We found these super cute uh, doormats. So we're going to get one for the front door and the back door. Well, they had their music playing so loud, but not going to lie. They had like Miley Cyrus. I usually let cars go by. I don't know if you guys are like that too, but it's because I walk kind of slow, especially with my ankle. But people always let me go. Thank you, thank you. Um, I just, I always want them to go. I don't know, okay. Is that my anxiety? I don't know. They had music playing. It's broccoli and eggs together, anybody? What? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It tastes bomb though, it's so, so good. Oh yeah, I just want to give you guys an update. I actually enjoy keto. <laughs> you would have never thought that those words would come out of my mouth. Ever. Um, I haven't gotten any of that like keto candy or keto, like, you know, like Atkins or like, there's like other things like keto bombs. I haven't had any of that. Have I thought about it? obviously like i am someone who enjoys candy who enjoys sweets who i i just like those things but i haven't bought any so i still have not drank soda which has been very sad for me i know a lot of people who do keto also drink diet soda but like with lipedema diet soda kind of reacts the same way as regular soda supposedly so i just don't even want to go there um, I'm not saying I'm never going to drink it because you guys know me. Anyways, I'm going to keep eating my bomb ass food and I'm going to stop rambling. Bye. Okay, so we're actually about to leave, but I want to try my new lip stuff I got from Ulta. It's the NYX Filler Instinct Miami Nights. That's the color. Pink is more so how I like my lips to look when I'm wearing like an all black outfit, but that's okay. Ooh. 
she's like exactly what i wanted have you guys seen those tiktoks of those people who like have two different types of like skin tones will wear the same lipstick same color they literally just pass it to one another so it's not like anything different and it looks completely different on different skin tones it is the craziest thing uh but this is how it looks on my skin tone i personally love this so recommend and it feels really good i am as a person when it comes to eating and the way that i think about it and i know that'll naturally make me lose weight to hypothetically answer this question i would probably choose jenny craig jenny craig is my favorite diet that i have ever done and i've done all of them i've officially done all of them i like it because you don't have to think about it um there's a menu you eat fruits and vegetables with every meal you don't have to really cook like it's everything that i love so i would definitely choose that second question is what's your sleep schedule like and does it play a role in your weight loss so i've officially fixed my sleeping schedule which i'm so proud of but it's a little extreme my perfect sleeping schedule would be like falling asleep at like 2 a.m waking up at like 10 a.m but right now i'm falling asleep like pretty early like 9 p.m 10 p.m and i'm waking up at like 6 a.m so it's a little extreme i feel like an old woman <laughs> nothing against old people but i'm kind of like an old person sleeping schedule situation type deal happening i'm like a grandma so yeah and i do notice that it plays a role in my weight loss i know that if you have better sleep and you have a better night sleep and you sleep normally like a normal person then you lose more weight because you do lose weight while you're sleeping i do not suggest doing this because it's an unhealthy way of thinking but if you weigh yourself before you go to bed and then when you wake up you'll notice that you lose a few pounds while you're sleeping so it's very important if you're trying to lose weight to get good diagnosed don't come for me i was diagnosed by a professional i have obsessive issues when it comes to numbers i don't talk a lot about things that i obsess about it's just not something i want to share on youtube there are a few topics that i don't talk about on youtube in detail and that's foster care and my ocd those are just things that i don't really tend to share as much um because i know the backlash i'll get and for some reason those two subjects are hardest for me just everything in my childhood revolving around foster care like what i went through while living with my parents and just me having obsessive thoughts and doing obsessive things whatever but i am obsessive about numbers and i feel like when i do weigh-ins or like i have goals when it comes to like my weight and stuff i have to include the 0.8 so like me having the goal for the end of the year to weigh 399.8 I have to have that point eight. It's just like, I have to. It's an obsessive thing. But also, like, away from that obsession, like, needing to be super, like, particular about my numbers, it just makes more sense to me. Because if I was to weigh myself, like, one day or one week, and I was 502.8, and then I weigh myself the next week, and I'm 503.0, I've gained only 0.2 of a pound, but if I don't consider the decimals and I'm just like, yeah, I went from 502 to 503, it looks like I gained a whole pound. And in reality, that's not the case. So I like to just have the exact numbers. Next question. Are you counting calories? No, I'm not counting calories. I'm not looking at calories. I'm not thinking about calories, not thinking about carbs, nothing, nothing. I am strictly just eating what I have at home. Last question. How can you do weight loss surgery when you can't even stick to a diet? I find this question to be humorous um, because that is what weight loss surgery is for. It is for the individuals who cannot stick to a diet, who need help, who need another tool, who has done all the diets and all the fad diets and have tried everything and they haven't been able to stick to it. They haven't found success. That is um, having takeout. I am fine with it. It's my little way of being like, Okay, say it's like Wednesday night and I'm just like, oh my God, I want to order food so bad. It's for some reason mentally, if I tell myself, you know what? No, just wait until Sunday. Just wait until Sunday. You have a few more days. Just allow yourself to wait. It's a lot easier than like, 
Oh my God, I can't have it for a full month. If you stick to it, just know that you can have that one meal on Sunday. And it worked for me and I'm happy with that. If I notice that it's gonna disrupt my weight loss or if it's gonna like make my binging bad or like my food obsession like worse, then I'm just not gonna do it. I'm not gonna allow that. But if I'm able to just like healthily have a normal takeout meal, once every Sunday, then I'm going to continue doing that. So since I want to reach 399.8, that means I have to lose 120.2 pounds this year, which means I have to lose about 2.3 something, something, something pounds a week. So that is my goal for every single week. So let's see how I did today. So last week I weighed in at 520.0 and today I weighed in at 514.6. So that is a 5.4 pound loss by literally just stopping takeout. <laughs> what i made normal foods i had mashed potatoes i had meatloaf muffins i had lasagna i made taco pasta like i had normal human foods with a normal human amount like it was just a normal amount and then i would actually eat my leftovers i usually don't do that it's like a really bad habit um it's kind of like a food anxiety thing. My psychologist says it goes into my OCD. I just, I think of bacteria and leftovers and I'm trying to like get that out of my head. That no, Amberlynn, you're fine if it's leftovers from the day before. Like you'll be fine, I promise. So I've been trying to eat more leftovers lately. And yeah, that is just by taking out takeout. So my goal for this week is to, again, not have takeout until Sunday and maybe just snack a little less because I've also been allowing myself to snack because I am not on a diet. I am losing weight by changing my lifestyle. So I'm very happy with this week one. It went beautifully. I feel like so far 2023 has been going really well for me in several dis different aspects like relationship wise, food wise, weight wise, all wise, <laughs> like body.